it's another week, folks. Welcome back to, uh, we've got a bit of a makeshift kitchen here for the Master Jeff kitchen on this lovely Monday in Cape Town. And I've got some plumbers in the background, so it's a bit of a mess there. I've been called out of here. So when you're doing your meal prep, don't ever tell me that there's a reason that you can't get it done. Um, I've made a different station here, prepped a couple of things, put it in some bowls, I can still get it done. I'm going to show you a couple of things and we're going to talk around some wraps and burritos because they are such a useful thing to prep a few of. You can keep them fresh for a couple of days and you can stick them in the freezer and you'll get a good couple of weeks out of them. So um, something that's a banker, you can do it yourself, you can get all of your portions right. It's better than buying something that's ready made because you don't know what's inside that one um, and you can control all the variables in it, which is fantastic. Um, in, in the fridge, it's going to last a couple of days. In the freezer, take it out, defrost it. You can heat it up in the microwave and you can get in the sort of in a panini press or something, quickly get a bit of heat or color onto it. And I'll talk you through that a little bit later. Um, but if you've got a couple of ideas, you can kind of mix and match a little bit and, and create some, some lovely ideas around it. And that's what I'm going to do with you guys today. So let me know who's here. If you've got questions about wraps and things as, as we go, um, please let me know. Um, I'm going to fold them as a burrito, which is really just a different way of folding it so that it tucks everything in nicely. We can wrap it up in some foil and we can stick it into the fridge or the, the freezer. But at the heart of it, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. Um, so I'll just see who's all checking in and giving you, everyone a couple of minutes. Hopefully you all had a good weekend. Um, and is anyone joining me on a challenge? I started Series 21 Day Challenge today. So um, off to a good start. Um, I don't have a wrap on my menu today, but there is one um, over the weekend, so these will go into the freezer and they could be perfect for that. Nikki Kemp, how are you? Lydia Jones, how's it going? Kim is looking forward to this one. Lorraine, good morning, good afternoon. Bonnie, how's it? Um, Tanya's here. Isabel is checking in. Renee, how are you? Lovely to see all of you guys. Kath, I hope you're feeling a little bit better and got that strength up. Candy, how are you? I've, uh, I haven't seen your name pop up in a couple of weeks, so it's nice to see it. Christina, lovely, lovely. I'm sure you guys like some wraps. Um, it's often a go-to when you're just going to go buy something quick and easy. And I'm going to give you a way to do it yourself so you don't have to, because quite often they can be a bit of a calorie bomb. Sources that go into there and is often filled with a grain and there's the wrap around it, high carbohydrates. The protein is normally the, maybe the more expensive stuff to put in it, so the portion will be a little bit smaller than that, but at least this way you can control it. First thing I want to talk about is the wraps that I've chosen. All right, if you're on our one-on-one, -on -one, you'll get a guide around them, but wraps aren't wraps aren't wraps. There are different sizes, there's different ways that they're made or whatever. So um, reading labels, very important. Okay. The one I've chosen for today, and I wanted to highlight, is one from Woolies. I'll stick it under this camera here. These lovely low-fat and kilojoule control ones. And um, why I like them is one wrap is, if you're on the one-on-one, -on -one, it's exactly one serving of a starch. Right? So you don't have to cut it in half, or it's not a little bit too big or whatever. And um, you get a decent size out of it, so you can fill that all right and roll it up, and it'll still be nice. Um, but they quite lack it. So there's not much oil in them. Sometimes the wraps will have a fair bit of oil, but um, having a look at the label here, I'm looking for one serving of starch, which is about 15 or 16 grams of carbohydrate. So that's exactly what I've got here, 16 grams in one wrap. Um, a bit of protein, four grams as well, which is actually pretty good. Um, and fat, one gram of those. So um, not high energy, and I know everything that I'm going to put in it instead is controllable, and I know what's going in there. So those are my chosen wraps. They're really cool. If you need a bigger one, if you need more energy, get the bigger one. Um, but being able to control it nicely like that is perfect. All right. So um, I've got a couple of them out here. When you're doing your meal prep, have them out, um, and then stack everything out. And you'll remember, I've said time and time again, protein, fiber, fat, and that's how I've lined it up here. Um, so put a couple of protein options out. The beauty about a wrap is anything can really go in there. Um, so if you've got some leftover, um, I've got uh, chicken couscous that I have for lunch on my strength training menu. So I did some chicken, 
some of this is going to go into my couscous for lunch and some of it's going to go into the wrap that will go into the freezer so chicken mince works really well tuna works really well any of those good lean proteins are fantastic i love a breakfast burrito so one of them i'm going to do is with some egg all right there's two ways of doing this you would have seen on instagram a little while ago i posted one i quite like to do a omelet you put the omelet in the pan and then you put the wrap on top of it if you want any filling as well you just stick that in there so if there's a little bit of veg you can do your omelet your veg stick your wrap in let it kind of set in there and you flip it over and you can toast that side and you've got a nice little breakfast wrap for my breakfast burrito i'm going to use a little bit of scrambled egg and some beans i thought i had some black beans kicking around the cupboard but i didn't so i'm going to use some butter beans chickpeas beans lentils actually anything like that works really well in, in your burritos as well and um, so i'm going to do a breakfast wrap that's butter bean and egg which will be lovely and um, another thing i did want to mention was feta so um, a nice lower fat or reduced fat cheese you can actually use as a source of protein as long as you're eating labels again. So um, at Woolies, I picked this up this morning. It's the reduced fat feta. Um, I'll tell you why it's quite nice. Again, if you go to the label, um, looking at the back, a 30 gram serving, which is about a matchbox size, and it gives you six grams of protein. So on our one-on-one, -on -one, that's about one portion. Um, fat is only four grams, which is normally the amount in a protein serving anyway, two to four grams is fine. Um, and there won't be any carbs in here, it's less than one. So what's quite nice is you don't often get to use various cheeses as a good source of protein because they're so high in fat. Cottage cheese works well, ricotta can work well, but here um, I found a decent one that's a reduced fat feta, and it actually can work as my protein source instead of my fat source in the meal. So. Uh, if you wanted to do a sort of vegetarian version and get a protein in from just the feta, that would work as well. All right, so lay out your protein options. Lay out your fiber. One source of fiber will be your wraps. Um, but the others, all sorts of veg, obviously goes quite well. So I've got some grated carrots and some onions for a little bit of um, flavor and texture. And some greens which if you're doing the frozen one, you maybe go away from the leafy greens because they're not going to freeze as nicely. But you can still freeze them. It's not the end of the world. But if you had a little bit of um, broccoli, maybe it would work. Or if you actually had some cooked spinach or something, it already wilted down and freeze a little bit better. And keep the fresh stuff for your fresher wraps. Um, and texture is great. So we've also got some sweet peppers. Um, I was actually going to do a uh, some sweet corn, but I didn't. Um, but those kinds of things work really well. Pretty much any veg, you can get it in there, um, add a little bit of color, texture, um, and flavor, and it would be great. And then your source of fat. So I've got a little bit of grated cheese. Um, if it was avo season, you put some avo in there or some guacamole. Um, you could use any other cheese, but a sort of hard cheese would work quite nicely as well, with a little bit of flavor, um, or something like a reduced fat um, spread. So like some mayo or something. So whatever your choice of fat is, have that. Nuts or seeds would work. They wouldn't freeze very well, but you could do them on a fresh one, maybe with chicken, something like that. Make sure you're ticking each of the boxes. Have I got some protein? Have I got some fiber and color and all the good stuff? And then is there just a little bit of fat to round it off as well? Okay, nice and simple. Um, so before I make one or two, let me just see if any questions came through in the last few minutes. Um, how many calories in this burger, up in this burger, in this wrap, Stefan? So it's 494 kilojoules, so it's 100 calories, um, just over 100 calories in one of those wraps, which is not too bad. Um, Kat, how are you? Uh, Candy, you're on the fitness challenge. Lovely, you're, gonna, you're making your chicken salad. Beautiful. Um, Shani checking in uh kate shailani's line heart school uh, looking good no questions yet i thought i saw one that i wanted to get to uh, just in the corner of my eye. Um, but send them through as we go here's a question how do you distinguish between a fat and a protein like what was mentioned in the feta being a protein rather than a fat so a fat is purely going to give you fat so if the fat number is the biggest thing on the label it's a source of fat so that's why I like our nuts and our peanut butter. We get a little bit of protein from them, but the main thing is fat. So have a look at a label or have a quick Google of the food if you have to just to get the nutritional value. But if the largest 
number on there is fat. You're going to use it as a source of fat. Um, the feta, the largest number on there is a protein. So um, it's a good source of protein for us in that instance. So it's actually sort of equivalent of an egg, one of those. So an egg gives us about six or seven grams of protein, four or five grams of fat. So we're actually getting the same out of that as well. So it's a good way to kind of do it. The only thing that's different is if it's a, a vegetable-based protein where the biggest number is going to be a carbohydrate, but I don't want to confuse you. It's just a source of protein, so like our beans and things. But if you're getting about six or seven grams um, per serving, it's one portion if you're on the on one-on-one. -on -one. So then you'll know you can use it as a protein. Okay. Um, Karika, someone asked me about this the other day as well as making my own wraps. So two things. One, I think everyone confused me when I talked about making them. I meant making them, getting your wrap and putting the stuff in. Um, but we have made them um, before as well. They are quite easy to do. It's just sort of flour and water and a little bit of oil to kind of bind, but you can kind of do that. So I do have a recipe. I haven't put one together, um, but they are, I mean, I love making them myself, but also nice and easy just to get them like this. If there's ones that you know are pretty good value. All right, cool. Um, Jane, you're having your chicken salad. That's my lunch as well. We're on the same eating menu for the week. Um, uh, Erna, you love your wraps. You have at least twice a week. Cool. Lovely with some ostrich steak. So there we go, some protein. Erna, let us know what the fiber and the fat is that you get in with that. Right, so the first one I'm going to do is a chicken one. You can see it here in the um, this camera. Folding them, if you're going to make a burrito, make sure you only fill the middle portion. If it's a wrap, you can kind of get three quarters of it done, but I want to fold over on both sides so that I can wrap it up nicely, put it in some foil, and put it in the fridge or um, the freezer. Okay, so um, whatever greens will go in, I'm going to start with my chicken one. Okay, do not overfill it. All right, because you're not going to be able to close it. Okay, so per portion of protein, if you're on the one-on-one, -on -one, um, it's 50 grams of chickens, which is about 40 grams cooked. Okay, so this is just going to be one serving of protein. If I need a second one, um, it might just mean I need another protein with a little bit of chicken on the side or um, a little bit of biltong or something. I don't want to overfill this. All right. So I want to take off my colors. You often say, hear us saying sort of eat the rainbow. So we've got some white and red going on here. Um, a little bit brighter red as well. Okay. And... What I love with my burritos is cheese because when it comes out the fridge or the freezer, just putting it onto the pan or the, um, if you've got a panini press or a sandwich press like that, it works really well and it'll just melt nicely, keep it nice and tight. Okay, so the filling's in the middle, nice sort of good palm size of things. Just going to give it some wings and roll it over. Okay, just make sure you tuck it in quite nicely. And you put one burrito. All right. So, um, making sure there are a couple of things that will help here with the the, fold, the folding and rolling. Your wraps at room temperature, if they come out of the fridge, the chances are they're going to tear. Okay. And trying to have all your ingredients also sort of at room temperature. Things if there's different temperatures, you might tear, rip, and then it obviously just gets a little bit frustrating. All right. So I've got a Chicken burrito, I have a foil wrap, and all I'm going to do is wrap them up. And that's that. So that can go into the fridge. That would stay for two or three days in the fridge. Um, not all the air is going to get in there because you've got it nice and wrapped up in your foil. And that can also go straight into the freezer as well. What I do is taking it, or you could stick it into a Ziploc, write what's on there and the date so that you've got everything. When you take it out and it's frozen, um, try to take the foil off and let it defrost overnight. You can all right, well, tomorrow at lunch, I'm going to have that. I'll take it out overnight, frozen. And wrap it in a damp cloth and just stick it in the microwave for about a minute um, on sort of a moderate wattage. Let it um, heat through, and if you want to do, you could then always stick it um, on a pan um, or in your sandwich press, 
to give it a nice toasty look, All right, which is great. So my breakfast one, I like getting my greens in at breakfast as well. And whenever we can, that's easy. So one little bit of greens and we'll cover a few different dishes. Um, some tomatoes would work well here. Okay, a little bit of egg. What I'm doing, and because I put the leaves at the bottom, they also keep some moisture out of the wrap. So the moisture will stay in there and you won't get a soggy wrap while it sits in the fish. Okay, so a little protein in there. And my normal on this is black beans. This is breakfast burrito, that's black beans and eggs. It works really well. Yeah, we got that, and but any herbs or spices that you want. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of chili on here, and again in the morning I like a warm wrap so the cheese is just gonna kind of hold it together. It's gonna melt nicely. Just stick it in there. Right, so tuck in the sides. And that's wrap number two. It's a nice sort of size as well. So if you're in a rush in the morning, you can take that in the car with you. It goes into the kids' lunch boxes beautifully. And they can just take that out when they're at school or when you're driving. It's a good pet course, and you can save yourself by getting that done. All right, the last one I'm going to do is just a vegetarian one, so the leaves, and I'm going to use that feta cheese as my protein source. Okay, so a couple of ingredients and three different varieties out of them, which is great. Right. Onions. What would work quite well here, I would don't want to use another cheese as a fat, but um, a little bit of pesto. Or some hummus or something would go quite nicely. And um, some pumpkin seeds with the feta. So that sort of matchbox size that I've got out of here is going to be my protein source. I didn't bring any nuts or seeds out of the kitchen. But a little pumpkin seed on there would be great. And it's going to give me burrito number three. Okay, nice sauce. There you go. How's that look? Good. So that'll be lunch. Place them in between so it looks nice. We've got three different options that are super simple. Um, all you've got to do, set yourself out, give yourself, I mean, we've taken 15 minutes. Um, I could most probably bang out another five or six of them and you sort it. You've got a couple for lunch or for breakfast. And you can stick them in the fridge and you know I've got two or three days and get a whole lot into the freezer, write on them, maybe in a little ziplock what they are and what the date was. Um, and you can put out quite a few options that meal prep makes life easy. Um, and you just need to spend a little bit of time sort of putting them together, which is quite simple. All right. Lovely. I'm going to see if any questions came through. Um, and we can just chat about wraps and things in general for a little bit. Um, and then I'll let you guys get on with your Mondays. Have your lunches. We have us having the chicken salad from the 21 Day Challenge. Um, whatever else was for lunch. Maybe you're going to have a wrap. Um, Chantal, just to confirm, did you say one carb portion is 16 grams? That's correct. So 16 grams in terms of nutritional value. The 30 grams you're talking about is for food weight. So quite often on the one-on-one, -on -one it might be 30 grams of oats or muesli or something like that, because you're going to get about 15 to 20 grams of carbs from, from that portion. So that's what one portion of the one-on-one -on -one is. Um, but the amount of carbohydrates you need, we're looking for about that 15 or 16 grams per serving. Okay. Um, Karika, I'll put one together. Actually, I found some masa flour finally, and um, to make some uh, corn tortillas, so proper corn tortillas. I just need a nice press, and then I can do it legitimately. 
Um, but I'm going to have a crack at making some um, corn wraps, which would be nice. Gluten-free, a little bit of Mexican flavor, and then they work lovely for things like this. Um, cats would also love a recipe for its own little wrap. I love it when people want to do things themselves from scratch. Uh, is me just swapping and turning some transformers. Uh, sweet corn would be classified as a starchy veg as well. So if you're only going to have a little bit, I mean, you're only going to get maybe a, um, a teaspoon on a wrap. It's not a lot, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But it is a starchy veg, so if it's making up a fair portion of, um, of your meal, just count it towards your carbohydrates intake. Georgie, so that's how you fold the burrito. Um, for a wrap, you can keep the top end open, so you'll get a little bit more filling in it, um, and you just fold the bottom like I did. Um, let me do another one. Um, so the only difference would be, and I've run out of green, so let's do a little bit of onion on the bottom. So you've got a bit more leeway, so you can go right to the top. You'll get a little bit more filling in. So burrito, you just need to be careful because you saw um, you don't want it to kind of pop open. So I'm just going to do a little chicken and bean one here. And um, it'll work quite nicely. Harry's home from school, so maybe he can have some lunch. He loves a wrap. Um, okay. So the only difference, once everything's in there, let's put a little bit of hard cheese for the flavors, that's the fat. So I've ticked all the boxes, protein, fiber, and fat. Some green just for color. A bit mingy. So the only difference here, when you, you can see it's there. And with the burrito, you've left it there so you can fold both sides open. Here, you just want to fold the bottom so it doesn't all leak out there. Um, and then you can wrap them over. Yeah. And that's the difference. We get to enter them from the top. Right, so that's the only real difference. We've got another option for lunch. Okay. It smells nice. A little cheese in there. All right. Um, See if there were any other questions. Uh, did you use the whole egg or just the egg whites? Nikki, I used the whole egg. Um, so that was two scrambled eggs. So I used essentially half of it. There was only one egg that, that went in. So it was, again, quite, quite a low calorie. Because they're smaller wraps, you don't get as much um, sort of filling on them. Um, but egg whites would just mean it's much leaner and you get a little bit more leeway if you want to add some more fat from it. Um, Coach Mahoy steps up the, the railing. It's just a bit of bit of practice. If you add some hummus or pesto, how much would count as a fat? Um, it's a tablespoon. With the hummus, again, you do get nice reduced fat ones because the tahini in there adds and the sesame oil adds a, a fair bit of fat to it. So just try to keep um or keep an eye out for the reduced fat ones, and you can use a tablespoon of that um, and pesto as well. Right. Um Georgie, 100 percent Pops out, overfill it, and everything kind of comes out. So what's often a little bit better is doing that, having your portions and knowing, all right, well, I only got 50 grams of chicken in there. Um, so let me do that and let me have a little um, chicken salad on the side. I can get more veg in, a slightly little bit more protein, um, and then I've got a nice option there. And it becomes quite a bulky meal. You still tick all the boxes nutritionally, but you get a little bit more on your plate. Okay. Uh, Marcel, yes, normal fat is classified as a fat. Um, and low fat feta as a protein. Exactly. Um, so, Pat Governor, this is the uh, feta cheese that I used for um, a protein source because it's a nice low fat option. Um, and then the cheese that I used as a fat is just regular uh, mature cheddar and then some grated hard cheese, like a Parmesan style thing. Okay. Um, Georgie, if you used almond and coconut flour to make wraps, um, if you're gluten conscious, yes, but just always have a look at the nutritional value. So almond and coconut flour, very high in fat. You're going to get some fiber from it, which is great. Um, but the calorie content will likely be a fair bit more. 
um, because they're much more energy dense. So although it's gluten free, if you need to avoid gluten from a tolerance issue, that's fine. Um, but you've just got to weigh out, you know, how do I balance the rest of it? So it means there's no room for any other fats in there. Make sure your proteins are as lean as possible and you get your vegetables and um, to fill it as well. Okay, so it'd be a low carb option um, on top of being gluten free. All right, guys, I think I got your questions that came through. Um, hopefully, it gives you a little bit of sort of, some inspiration and some ideas um, for some wraps or burritos. And um, you can pretty much almost get a week's worth of uh, meals or breakfasts out of them. Spend a little bit of time on a Sunday or Monday getting it done. In the fridge or in the freezer, uh, you can take it out, heat it up, um, and be ready to go. All right. So have a crack at them. Post a pic if you um, do. Um, it's always lucky to see what you guys are coming up with. Um, anyone who's on the 21 Day Challenge, there's a tuna malt wrap at the end of the week. Um, it should be a good one as well. A uh, lovely way to combine it with a nice lean protein. Bit of cheese melted in there, delicious. Um, guys, have a fabulous week. Kick it off properly. Train hard this week. Eat well. Create the environment. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our Jeff Cook. We're we'll doing Jeff Tucky fried chicken, which is going to be fun. And um, my little spin on a, um, on a sort of not so good option. Um, so hey, that, should, that should be a lacquer one. And I'll see you guys all on Wednesday for that. Have a good week, guys. Till then. Just for now.